The toll road visits the Citizen Motor Car Company's America's Packard Museum. Toll road here with Road Trip Ranch, and we are at the American Packard Museum here in Dayton, Ohio. They're just opening back up. Should be a good time. Let's get in there and see it, Rich. Sounds good. Before these police officers come and get us. The Packard Company was formed in Warren, Ohio in 1899 and was considered America's ultimate luxury car up until World War II. In Dayton, Ohio, the world's largest public display of Packard automobiles are on display in a building that once was a Packard dealership. Yeah, this is the 28 Jesse Vincent Speedster, which Jesse Vincent was the head of the Packard Engineering, and they said they got this up to 129 miles per hour on an oval track back then was really moving it. Yeah. All right, Rich, this is my favorite car in here, the 1930 Model 734 Speedster. Uh, they built, only 39 boat, boat tails were built and only 11 survive. So you see what they're saying with the boat tail here? Yeah. But I love the color scheme, I mean, the condition it's in, the, Looks like a luxury car that's got some, some kick to it. And they said it'd get up to close to 100 miles per hour. And back then, that was, wasn't that common. That was, uh, what year was this? 1930. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we get some of the details here. Here's one of their other uh, hood ornaments, too. What you find here, Rich? Oh, this is a, a eight coupe Roadster. Yeah. yeah. Just like the uh, Duesenberg Museum, I like pointing out the old rumble seats back here. That's something I'm surprised that at least they don't come out in some modern car trying to copy that. I know it's not that practical, but just as a. Uh, you look at this one. This one has a lot more leg. Oh yeah. You could probably stick a dead body in there. What you just don't see anymore, Rich, is the hood ornaments that these cars had back then. I guess if you had one now, someone would break it off and try to sell it there. But it's more of a status symbol. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I see what you're saying. They're not flat or, or round anymore. It kind of reminds us of that uh, Auburn Speedster. Yeah. Remember the they had real thin headlights, kind of a curve like yeah. that. Yeah. There's some I didn't even know Packard made any trucks at all. This, this big old five ton. It's beauty. Imagine riding a hard rubber. Oh, wow. What kind of ride that would be? <laughs> yeah, I don't think this one was built for uh, creature comforts. Okay, Rich, or something here. This car was converted to run on either propane or gasoline, so it was ahead of its time trying to go green there, I guess. Yeah. Here's a 1903 Model K Gray Wolf Racer. This is kind of the first time they switched over to a multi cylinder car, and they picked this one out of the whole production line to turn it into a racer. And it set a speed record for its time at Ormond Beach. It was like 77 miles per hour, I believe. Well, you look at the wood body. 
I mean, you can tell. You can see the wood grain and the cracks and yeah. everything up here. It's all, it's all basically wood. I wonder what the traps do to do. I just told you it went like 77 miles per hour. It was 77.59 uh, miles per hour. Yeah, what are you rolling around in a four banger, maybe? Yeah. Think you could handle the, the old 12 banger here? Oh, easily. Yeah. Oh, easily. A V twin six. Maybe a little rusty on the double clutching, but. <laughs> Give me an hour or so, I can figure it out. Yeah, I better make that two hours. That's what you need. Now this is a 1914 model 448 runabout and it had a massive 525 cubic inch engine and what what are you uh, seeing back here you're you're speculating on Rich? Well it has a little seat in the back. Now, I've Cozy. seen somewhere, or I think it's off YouTube. This is actually- Well, that must be true. Oh, it gotta be that. Yeah, yeah. I heard this is the chauffeur seat. Uh, doesn't the chauffeur usually sit up here and drive? That's what I thought. Okay. But supposedly what they, the gentleman said, he's like, if they take them to the boat or, you know, uh, a ship and drop them off. Mm -hmm. They want to drive. He so they want to drive this touring car. They and, join me to that, but they want yeah, the car back, back while they home. do their thing, right? So, so they settle Jeeves and back or whatever his name is till they got there. Don't could know be if true. It's true. Interesting. Very interesting. It could be, it could be, uh, Real money in the auto industry is. Oh yeah, yeah. parts. Parts. Technician jacket. Try it on. <laughs> <laughs> The other wing here. I know they actually rent this out as like a hall space. Like you could have a wedding reception in here, which would be kind of cool. You could, you could talk the uh, missus into going along with that. Road trip picked out his favorite here so far, the 52 Parisian Coupe. What, what about this one do you, do you like, what? What I like about this shit, that. Speak up, Rich, the world can't hear you. <laughs> well, I don't have a mic on, you broke the Well, box. I don't have a mic either, but people can hear me because I got, I got an outside voice. <laughs> but I, I like the style of it, look at it. I mean, it's just, uh, it's gorgeous. Like the fenders here then, I'm assuming? Well, you got the, the slopes back, then you right. the fenders stick out. You know, the like the old tail wing, wing. yeah, wings. yeah. Let's take a look inside of this too. Oh, here, yeah, look at the interior. Beautiful automobile. This 1946 Custom Super Clipper is a good car when DuPont owned one of these. Now what makes that significant is DuPont owned a lot of stock in General Motors, yet he still chose to drive a Packard. Maybe in his case, ride in a Packard. Rich, this car was driven by a uh, motorcycle Mike. Do you know who motorcycle Mike is? Sounds familiar. Al Capone's bodyguard. This car right here, yeah. 
You would think a guy with a name like Motorcycle Mike would be uh, maybe on a motorcycle. But yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, they had motorcycles back then, so. Oh, well, yeah, I know they did. That's... This actually car was owned by Perry Como, and I don't think he got too far on it for some reason. Yeah, it was probably uh, one of his competitors, Frank Sinatra or someone must have slashed his tires. Let's take a look inside of Perry's car here though. What year was this car? Was it a 53, Rich? Yeah, it was. Hey, they even got one of his albums back here. Merry Christmas. Ultramatic transmission. Hey, why don't you sing a little, uh, Perry Como for us. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to. Uh, don't want to what? Oh, yeah. Your angelic <clears throat> voice, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This Hearst here was used in the movie Godfather, and this is what they took out Don Vito Corleone. Marlon Brando was taken to the cemetery inside of this particular hearse. It's kind of interesting. They had uh, both sides open up, so you got you put the coffin in. Three different ways. Driver's side, passenger side, or the back. Now you've seen The Godfather, right? Oh, yeah. Long, long time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch it again and look for this particular car or hearse. Care to do any impersonations? I'll let you do that. You're, you're better <laughs> at it than I am. I'm gonna make him an offer he can refuse. Playing with something. What do you got going on, Rich? That looks like an automatic uh, transmission to me. I don't know. I'm just reading that. <laughs> about all the vehicles there are here at the uh, Packard Museum. What, what did you uh, think of the place here, Rich? Uh, I enjoyed it. Um, it's right in the backyard. And it's, what, the National? No, this is the American Packard Museum. Right, but it's the... The National Packard Museum is actually in Warren, Ohio. Okay. Which is Packard himself, I believe, was born or, or lived in uh, Warren, Ohio before he started the maybe company in of, Detroit. Maybe I'm thinking of the library. Now this place here was a old uh, car dealership back in the day. Well, Packard, Packard, Packard dealership. dealer, yeah. So that's how they got to start here. But I definitely recommend it. There's what, there's two, three dozen different Packards here. Check it out, beautiful cars. Well, they just opened up. They just opened up what, a couple days ago. Yeah, just After opened up closed for a year, year, year plus, about 15 so, months. So come out and support them. It's a triple A discount, nine bucks to get in. Senior, what was your senior discount? Uh, I, pay, I paid triple, triple A discount. Should have went with senior. <laughs> I did that down in Florida, and I, I stayed four or five bucks each time. I, went <laughs> yeah. in. I didn't tell you guys. Hey, I, I would recommend this place. That's going to do it for now, and who knows where the toll road will lead to next. See ya.